Hello students, we are solving the IV Math AA Agile past papers and currently we are solving the IV Math AA Agile May 2022 paper 2 time zone 2 past paper. Today we will be solving the question number 7 of this paper. You will be getting the links to all the previously solved questions of this paper and of the other papers in form of playlists in my channel NS Online Math Tutoring Classes. So without any further delay, let us start answering question number 7. The maximum mark is 8. Consider limit x tends to 0, arc ten of cos x minus k over x square where k belongs to the set of real numbers. Subpart A says show that a finite limit only exists for k equal to pi over 4 contains 2 marks. Okay. So, we are seeing that when x tends to 0, the denominator x square will be equal to 0. So, we will be having a finite value only when the numerator is also equal to 0 that we that is we have to have an indeterminate form in order to have a value for the limit x tends to 0 for this expression okay so you may write that since limit x tends to 0 x square is equal to 0 Therefore, to get an indeterminate form, form 0 over 0, limit x tends to 0, the numerator, I am writing, arc tan of cos x minus k should be equal to 0. Only then we will be having the 0 by 0 case. Okay. So, therefore, limit of arc tan uh, of cos x minus k equal to 0. And when x tends to 0, cos x is equal to 1. Okay. So, arc tan of cos 0 is equal to 1. So, arc tan of 1 minus k is equal to 0. Or k is equal to arc tan of 1. And what is arc tan of 1? is equal to pi over 4. Therefore, k is equal to pi over 4. Okay. Shown. Subpart B. Using Lapidus rule, show that algebraically, show algebraically that the value of the limit is negative 1 over 4. It contains 6 marks. Okay. Using Lapidus rule and we have taken k to be equal to pi over 4 so that we get a 0 by 0 indeterminate form. Fine. So, I will be writing this is uh, subpart B. Limit x tends to 0 arc tan of cos x minus pi over 4. In place of k, I am writing pi over 4 over x square. So, using Lapidus rule, they have said, uh, has asked us to use the Lapidus rule, so I am not writing it. So, is equal to limit x tends to 0 ddx of the Numerator arc tan of cos x minus pi over 4 divided by the ddx of the denominator derivative. It is x square. Derivative of the x square, you can see 
the denominator is x squared. Okay. So this is equal to limit extends to zero and uh, this minus pi over 4 it is a constant so its derivative will be equal to zero but what about the first term arc n of cos x this is the answer for the subquat a it is done so what is the derivative of tan inverse x tan inverse is arc tan so this is equal to 1 over 1 plus x square and in place of x we are having cos x so it will be 1 over 1 plus cos square x yeah so we will be writing this it is 1 over 1 plus cos square x and then we have to differentiate this cos x we cannot leave this part okay because the argument is not x but it is cos x so we have to sorry we have to differentiate that as well. So derivative of cos x with respect to x is negative sin x. This is the differentiation of the numerator and what about the denominator? Derivative of 2x squared with respect to x is equal to 2x. Okay. And when x tends to 0, this is minus sin x over 1 plus cos square x. What happens to sin x? It is 0. So the numerator is 0 and the denominator it is having x. So this is also 0. So this is 0 over 0 case. Again. Okay. So now again I have to use the Lapidus rule. So this is what? Oh, okay, let me write it. d dx of negative sin x over 1 plus cos square x over d dx of, sorry, this is not there, d dx of 2x. So, when we differentiate this, we can use the quotient rule. We can, we could have uh, simplified this and I could have bring, brought the 1 plus cos square in the denominator. But I have kept it as it is. So, it is u over v. So, I will be using the quotient rule. Okay? So, it is limit extends to 0. And uh, the denominator will be equal to 1 plus cos square x whole square. And what about the numerator? The derivative of negative sin x is negative cos x. So negative cos x times 1 plus cos square x whole square. Okay. So this is equal to 1 and this is minus minus of minus times minus sin x is plus sin x so plus sin x and the derivative of 1 plus cos square x is 2 cos x and then derivative of um, cos x is negative sin x so i can write I can just cancel this. I can write a minus sign over here. Okay. This is the numerator. And what about the denominator? Derivative of 2x is 2. Now we will not be having any indeterminate form because the numerator, the denominator is having a number of Okay, so what happens to the numerator? The denominator is 2. When x tends to 0. So this is equal to limit 
x tends to 0. This is cos x will be equal to 1. x tends to 0, cos x is 1. So the denominator is 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 squared is 4. Denominator is 4 and this is actually over 2. And what about this part? This is minus 1. I'm not writing this anymore because I'm just substituting. This is also not there. Okay. So uh, this is minus 1 and this one is 1 plus 1 square is also 1. And uh, this is sine x. Limit x tends to 0, sine x is 0. So this part will not be contributing. So it is just this. So minus 1 times 2 is negative 2. So negative 2 over 4 divided by 2. This is negative half. Divided by 2 is equal to negative 1 over 4. Shown. Okay. So this brings us to the end of solving question number 7. And thank you for staying with me till the end. I am Nilanjana Sanyal. I am an online IB Math ESL and HL level tutor. I tutor students from both within India and outside India. And I offer both one-on-one -on -one and small group online tutoring services to my students. And as you are seeing currently, I am solving the IB Math AHL past paper questions. And I am uploading these videos in my YouTube channel. In case you are liking my explanations, please do give this video a like and please do share this video with your friends so that even they can get benefited by watching this video. And please, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel till now, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. It will be motivating me to make more math videos for you because I'll be knowing that I'm, I'm being able to help you. That is why you are watching my videos. So it will be motivating me. Okay. And in case you are having any doubt, any confusion, any query, please feel free to write to me in the comment section. I will be trying to solve your doubts. Your, I'll be trying to answer your queries as much as possible. And we meet again very soon in our next session. We will be solving question number eight of the same paper. So till then, bye.